Right, good day grade 11s and welcome to today's video in which we're quickly going to look at uh, the wizards that we find inside of Microsoft Access. So here I've got a database open. Uh, this is the CD database, the one we usually use in class. And you can see this one consists of some tables. Um, it has a few queries, a few. <laughs> um, our forms, as you can see there, and then our reports. <coughs> Right, so this is what our, this is just an example of what our report looks like. We can see the form uh, can have a slightly different layout. And then our query has a different layout to that as well. Okay, so if we're going to create, or when we create our queries, forms, and reports using the wizards, first of all, we're going to have our table open, um, the one that we actually want to pull a query form or report from. We're going to go up to the Create tab, and in this, you'll see we've got a Query Wizard under Queries, we've got a Form Wizard under Forms, and we've got a Report Wizard under Reports. So, let's go and have a look at this. Let's start from our Queries. So, I click on Query Wizard, and it comes up, tells me uh, I'm going to create a new query. Do I want to create a simple one? Yes. I'll click OK. And then this is very important. Um, they want to know from which table do you want to actually pull a query. And you can see if we've got 25 tables, or we want to pull a query from a query or whatever the case may be, everything will be here. So we want to pull it from the table CD table. Then underneath that, they're giving us available fields. This is every, all the fields that are in this current table. You can see there's everything. And then I can use these two arrows to individually move items over. Or if I want to move all the fields over, I simply click the double arrows. If I want to move it back, I can move them all back with the double arrows or individually with the single arrow. Okay, so let's just say I'm going to take artist, uh, CD name, and genre. Okay, so basically I want to pull from this table these particular fields to create a particular query okay this is obviously based on whatever you're going to find in the paper i click next now i can put a title for my query so let's just say uh, test query one in case i've done this before All right now we can choose how to open it we can open it to view the information or we can modify it and all that means is that the query will open in its own design view okay so let's just leave it as is and let's click finish and there you can see my query has been created. I can even go under queries and I can go and look for it. There it is, test query one. So that's how you know that has been created. Let's now go to the form wizard. We click on form wizard. Similar layout. Do you see that? Okay. So again, based on our CD table, again, I'm going to take artist, CD name and genre. This is exactly the same as what we did before. Click next. This is where the difference comes in. Which layout would you like? Now, they will tell you in the question which layout they want you to choose. You will just choose the relevant one. Click next. Now, we're going to put in a title and let's just say test form one. And again, you can see it asks you in closing, um, do you want to open it up with the info or to the design view? I'm just going to leave it as is and click finish. Okay, you see, yeah, this is what I said. I might have created this before. <laughs> okay, so let's make that test form 11. Click finish, and now my form is going to come up. There's my form, test form 11, and I can confirm it over there under my forms. All right, the last one. Again, I go to create, and I'm going to go to my report wizard. Same setup. Again, I choose the table, and I'm going to go again, artist, CD name, and genre. Remember, this will depend on what the question is asking. I click next. Now you see a slightly different layout. So with this one, uh, they're asking us, do we want to group it? Okay. So maybe I want to group things according to the genre, and then I want to group it under that according to the CD name. Right. This is where you can do that. Again, just follow the instructions as per the paper. You'll click next. Then they're asking you what sort of order do you want for your records? Do you want um, artists to be ascending? Do you want any sort of sorting? Look, if you don't want sorting, just leave everything blank. 
but you can decide what you want over here. And once you're done, you click next. Then it's gonna ask you about the layout. What sort of layout do you want and what orientation? Again, the question will guide you or the scenario will guide you here. Let's just leave it as is. Click next. And here we go. We're going to go test table 11 and we can go preview again or into the design view. Just leave it as preview and we click finish. And there is our report and you can see it's being grouped according to the CD name and the genre um, and then the artist over there as well sorted A to Z. Okay. And that is how we use our wizards to create our queries, forms and reports.